Hello and welcome to my shop. A couple of days ago uh, we decided to take down a few of my uh, maple trees I've got on my property here. Well, Manuela cut them down because she got the, the license, the official license to cut down trees in public and uh, I told them well how to separate this into well more manageable parts than firewood for my uh, bow turning. Okay, um, what you see over here is one piece we managed to get out of this and uh, already split that in half and what's left over now is to find the center on here. Well you can go over, cross, go over with the diameters but then you are not very comfortable with well uh, possible voids in here. Well, in this one here there are no voids at the moment because well it's it's uh, wet wood and um, well I tested out a couple of things um, 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 um. Obviously, it doesn't work except uh, the back hurts and my legs are hurting as I'm not used to this one. So I find another method for finding the center. I don't want to tell you more about this at the moment. Enjoy the next couple of minutes about my way to find the center on a bowl blank. Indian gurus or fakirs, I don't know. Uh, okay, the best thing about it, it had been, I found a way to make a jig to find center on this one. And what I came up with is this baby here. It's not looking that spectacular. It's just a piece of plexiglass, eight millimeter thick. Uh, circles round it in, uh, routed into it but you can go ahead and adjust that one to the actual center by just eyeballing over the um, over the circles okay this is pretty accurate another advantage of this jig here is that well you can see this now that it meets my the requiring of my lathe so whenever the the uh, height of the of the blank extends this one it does not go on the lathe as it will actually bump into it so follow me along the next couple of minutes how I made it and uh, please leave a comment don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, up to next week it's with greetings from Google Germany your Peter Freitag thank God it's Friday you start by drilling a hole right in the center of your acrylic The dimensions of the acrylic is something around the maximum capacity of your lathe. 
otherwise uh, well won't act as a jig for cutting the uh, logs into the right dimensions in the first place. With my Dremel and the circle cutting jig, I route the circles into the acrylic and uh, well in the end it's a little tough to peel off the protection cover on that acrylic. how the jig works. You take it and you get these nice circles on there. So, well, you try to find one circle which matches the well, longest part of it. And you just place it on there and it's over here. So I actually, I set my compass radius here and now I can go ahead and adjust it the way oh, I'm touching here so this is pretty flat the other side is more steep so I can take it over to this side to get well, more out of it I hope but we'll see next step after you've found the center which is here Take a nail and mark the center. That's it. Now, if everything is within this circle, it could go on there like so. As this, this is the maximum diameter I can go for. Well, radius. Half this. Okay, but nevertheless, I set my my compass. Okay. Now I scribe with the compass. I scribe the circle on here, which will be actually my bold blank. The 
table saw, the capacity of this thingy here, or a chainsaw operator you trust in, you can go ahead and cut away on the outside here. Okay, check for that. This way you can see it better. So this is the actual old blank I want to mount to the lathe and this is the center. So it's just a matter of cutting this away as this is, well, a waste of time to get to turn this away and it's also vibrating a lot. Now you can go uh, start well drilling a hole for the worm screw or you mount the faceplate on that one. I'll do, the, I'll do it with the faceplate as this is pretty heavy, never done something heavy, heavy like that. But this will be a project for next week, turning the green wood into, well, the wet wood into the bowl.